Hi everyone, it's Nicole Wilkins with Fitness RX for Women, and this is my next question and answer segment where I took your questions from Facebook and I'm going to answer them for you today. The first question I have is I love running, but I keep hearing it's counterproductive for muscle building. Aside from sprints, is it okay for me to run on a daily basis as cardio while still benefiting from muscle gains and fat loss? Thank you. Um, I do believe that it is counterproductive for you to run every day and still try to gain muscle. What I would recommend is maybe two days of high intensity interval training with sprints and then do uh, a lot of cross training, so elliptical, uh, step mill, uh, high uh, incline walking, but running is a great way to lean out your legs, so it can definitely be counterproductive. I don't really know a whole lot of people who can gain muscle in their legs and still do hours of cardio, especially running. The next question is, do you take pre-workout supplements? I've always wanted to try taking one, but I'm scared that my body will get so used to them and that whenever I don't take one, my workouts will be awful and I'll have no energy. Um, you know, I do take a pre-workout supplement because I, I do, not all of them have uh, a stimulant in them, so the purpose of a pre-workout is to increase the blood flow to the area that you're training, which can be beneficial if you're trying to gain lean muscle. Um, it's important to kind of cycle on and off of any type of supplement like that so that you don't get used to a certain supplement for a long duration of time. So I would recommend doing maybe two months on, one month off, three months on, two months off, something like that, just to kind of you know make sure that your body doesn't hit a plateau. The next question I have is, I'm 50 years old and build muscle fast in my legs. I was a figure skater and my muscle memory kicks in. How do I train to not bulk up my legs yet keep muscle? I love to spin and do plyo workouts, but I can't seem to find the right mix for my legs without sacrificing my glutes. I'm 5 feet tall and weigh about 113 pounds. Also, I do have to up my protein intake now that I'm older. Oh, do I have to? Um... Okay, first question is, how do I train to not bulk up my legs yet keep the muscle? Um, keep your repetitions higher, so anywhere from 20 to 35, even 100 reps if you want to do a really high rep workout. Keep the weight more moderate and shorten your rest periods. So that will help with the maintenance phase. Um, as far as your glutes, you can do glute focused exercises, which is something I talked about in the last week. You know, step ups, um, lunges, things that target the glute more so than focusing on the quads. And as far as do you have to up your protein intake now that you're older? No, I would still recommend one gram per pound, no matter what age you are. The next question is, I recently lost a lot of weight and then went sedentary for a few months when my husband returned from deployment. Now I seem like I've gained it all back. I wanted to ask what the best course of action would be for me to get back on track. I've started tracking calories again and hitting the gym, but I feel like I need some more direction. While nutrition is going to be the number one focus if you're trying to lose weight, it's about 80% of your results. So although you may have gained that weight back, it will go away if you stay consistent. So it won't happen overnight. It won't happen in a couple weeks. You'll see sl small progress every week. And over a duration of time, you'll get back to where you were before. So just be patient. Uh, increase your cardio or add cardio if you're not doing any of that. At least two at least I would say three days of weight training in the gym if you're just getting back on track and again nutrition is really important so stay focused I know you can do it and you'll be back where you were in no time what's the best advice you'd give anyone doing their first show hmm, it's a good question I would probably say listen to one person only because you're going to hear a lot of people giving you their, their input. You shouldn't be doing that much cardio, or you should be doing more cardio. You shouldn't be eating that much protein. You should be eating more protein. You shouldn't be having so many carbs. You should be going to 
you should be drinking more water, you should be getting more sleep. You know, I mean, everybody has their own method. So listen to one person and give it a couple shots with that person before you decide not to listen to them anymore. The other thing is expect that not every day is going to be great. You're going to feel awesome some days and you're going to feel not so awesome other days and that would be the same whether you're getting ready for a show or not. It's just part of life. So just know that being consistent, even if you don't see the scale drop every week, it doesn't mean your body composition isn't changing and you're not you know, keeping the lean muscle and losing the body fat. So just be patient and know that at the end it will all fall into place. And the last question I have is, I'm training for my first figure competition and still feel like my butt and hips are too large and not enough definition showing in the quads. I have six months to go. I train legs two times a week, once heavy and once plyo. What else can be done? Is it all diet? Do these things not happen until the contest prep begins? Well, six months is a lot of time. I don't know what your weight is. I don't know what your body looks like, but most of that is definitely diet. The diet is what's going to bring out the lines in your physique. It's going to make you, you leaner, and most of that won't happen until your diet changes. So keep doing what you're doing. It's good to build the muscle before you start leaning. The leaning out process, it'll help with the metabolism, and um, you may even be able to get away with more calories during that contest prep. So just, like I said, be persistent, be consistent, um, dedicate yourself, and uh, you'll see the changes over time. So that's all I have for you guys this week. Keep asking your questions on Facebook, and I'll be back every Friday to answer them for you. And keep